the newest it item of fitness Instagram and TikTok. It's not the AirPod Maxes. It's not a pair of aloe leggings. It's something that I feel should be on a 90s infomercial. It is a walking desk. As your token fitness tech loving YouTuber, I figured it was my duty I salute you. to put the walking pad to the test before you go spend your year in health bonus on one or gift it to the girl that sent you this as a gift idea. <clears throat> Send this as a gift idea to someone. There's the walking desk I used, I bought, and I didn't use. Bad boy. Oh, God. Oh. Here she is. Let's get this set up. Put this under here. Plot twist, I lost the remote for this walking pad, so I have to get another one. Do not recommend moving this on your own when you don't have a car. <laughs> Young, independent, not single, but lives alone. Lesson one, number one, don't lose the remote because that's what I did with my old one and it is now useless. So I had to go to Walmart and buy a new one for this video. That's just what I need in a recession. Just because I lost this stupid remote. Let's press play. Three, two, one. We're going. Oh, okay. We are in business. Okay, I had a thought for my Apple Watch step obsessed girlies. When your hands are here and you're typing, is it even gonna be able to read my steps? Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel, feel that's why a lot of people want the walking desk, because they're steps. I'm gonna test. I'm at 10,400 already to start the day, because I did a workout this morning, I did Barry's boot camp, so we'll see where I end up at the end of the day. Be right there. I've been on and off. It's 3 p.m. I'm at 19. The law pushed them to the edge. Did you hear that? I literally just said push to the edge. Just under 20,000 steps. I will say it's really hard to do this for like an hour straight. Just like mentally great for emails. I haven't got the hang of doing it for editing. I'll try it tomorrow when I get a bit more of the rhythm. But in terms of doing emails, it's kind of a vibe. Will my hips hurt in the morning? Stay tuned. It's the day after my back. I'm not sore and like, oh, I worked out so hard. It's like, I think I was standing wrong all day. My back is so tight. Ah. Day two, and we're really gonna put this bad boy to the test. That ultimate test being doing it in regular, not athletic clothes. Specifically, I thought, what would be the most challenging potential outfit that we'd all wear? The Molina leather pants from Ritzia. If I can walk in leather pants and not get obnoxiously sweaty, then we can walk in anything. Also, notice something new? I recently moved into an office with three other YouTubers. I'm actually downsizing my apartment to help pay for this place. Some big changes happening in 2023. I'll be moving apartments, moving into this office, which I'll be documenting in my, my wellness diary. But would you guys like uh, apartment and office tour? Comment down below. I just wanna thank you guys. Like this is my dream. Like actually having a place to come work. Come into office at nine, I go out at five, I have colleagues. Anyways, back to the office. I still haven't figured out how to get 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So I'm either at 1.0, 2.0, or 3.0. Like a one is a little almost annoying. Like I, this is a two. Kind of leisurely. I did a whole Zoom call like this. Here's a three. Now this is where it gets challenging. The three, I was like, this is a fast pace. It is hard to concentrate. I feel this would be my normal walking pace. Four, you are really power walking. Five, I don't feel like you can keep up. Let's go. If you go up to six, six, you are speed walking. Oh my god, oh my god. It's almost honestly not to a slight run. Update on my back. I completely forgot I did these like yoga flow movements yesterday, so that was probably where my back was sore because I was doing like handstands. It actually does help you keep, I think, decent posture. My one issue so far I'm realizing is my strides are quite short. I have decently long legs, I'm 5'7", and I do feel my stride is slightly restrictive. And that is probably why my calves got tight. Okay, I'm catching myself doing this. Because I'll be good. Emails and that, you can just pound it out for like honestly an hour. As soon as you have something specific, 
leather pant update. Started at nine, it's about 2.30. When I go at three speed, it gets, it gets moist in here. This is not fun. If I stay at like a one to two, I'm fine. It's my one worry. This is great for someone who has a sedentary life and has no other way to exercise. But I think if you're someone like me who's running, working out, you know, walking everywhere, I have a feeling this will be a little too much exercise for me. Day three, and maybe it's in my head, but there just feels like a muskiness in the office. I have a stage diffuser at home. This is just a random one Joe has here. Here's a hack. To combat the muskiness I'm feeling, I'm just gonna put on a diffuser and I feel that helps. And here's the hack. Tree scents from um, Sage. They smell like a Christmas tree. So if you're like a Gen Z millennial like myself, they can't afford to buy their own home and get an actual Christmas tree. We buy essential oils with our disposable money. Why we can't buy a house and we use it to make it smell like a Christmas tree. I can't lie. I'm really enjoying this. When I started this, I thought I wouldn't be able to concentrate. I realized it's stopping me from procrastinating. When I'm doing computer work, any little thing in the background, you see you're kind of distracted. I'm opening up Instagram and I'm just finding ways to procrastinate. With this, I feel it, it makes me kind of tunnel vision. Mid treadmill walk, refuel. Snippet. So Joe is going to test it out and give his opinion. As a former kinesiologist, do you have to just get on it? You just, just hop on. It's really slow. You've done berries. Yeah, we'll start it. it we'll me. start I'm it. We'll start it. I don't want to eat shit. Okay, we'll start it so slow. Do you just kind of... Okay. Look how slow that. that is. Look how slow that is. Interesting. Quite short stride. Yep. I feel like if the back was even a little bit longer, because I feel like I'm flicking my toes a little bit. Oh yeah. But I kind of like it. It's a vibe. Yeah, I feel like I definitely can't do any like precise editing. Yeah, try because... try even just jokingly edit my video. Actually edit my video. <laughs> just kidding. You know, up and down, that like vertical movement, nauseating. <laughs> To my dry queens out there, I was like squinting because my eyes got so dry. Yeah, focus extra hard because your eyes are literally moving up and down. Andrew Huberman talked about something. There's like a focal point when you're moving. Yeah. You're supposed to look farther away when oh. you're walking. So it's like really challenging on your eyes to walk and look yeah. at something close up. I think a meeting would be good. I'm on speed one. I'm gonna pretend to keep talking. When I'm talking like this in a steady flow, can you hear me? Yeah, I, I just hear your voice. Okay, I'm gonna go up to like a three. Can you hear the treadmill now? When you're not talking, yeah. very frequently, yeah. But when I'm like steady flow of conversation, you can't really make it up. No. And personally, I would never go above a three. Theoretically, for argument's sake, let's put me at like a six. I would start like panting. <laughs> yeah, like I can hear your voice changing, but I don't want to sit here. No one's gonna go on a run. Oh my god, I almost fell off. <laughs> it's 4.50 right now. Just about to head out for the day. I just got to 19,000 steps. Take away about 4,000 from just four. I got here, so I got about 15,000 steps today. In the first day, I was only able to do emails. By today, actually the video you've watched up to this point, I edited. Day four. In my three days so far, I've added about 30,000 steps to my weekly total. I could have done a lot more. I could have done eight hours straight, but I only did as many steps that didn't get in the way of my work. If your work's gonna suffer, just walk outside. Don't go to work. But speaking of work, it stood up to emails. Zoom calls, even editing, but can it end up to the fourth most challenging thing I do in my work? Okay, if I can DJ one of my sets <laughs> on a treadmill, I can do anything. So let's give this a go. This is so dangerous. These are all my prized possessions. This camera, this laptop, and this. Do not try this at home, kids. Or try it at home. You know what? You have free will. Just don't blame it on me. Oh, I did not set this up properly. How are you feeling tonight, Vancouver? We have a special edition for all my work from home gals. Let's go. <laughs> this is so stupid. P.S. Ignore the cringy copyright uh, free music I have to use. I want to monetize this video. It's the holidays. I <laughs> got presents to buy. Okay, I hate to admit it, that was kind of a vibe. Because the one thing, like, when there's no crowd, you're just kind of like, cool, everyone back up, what's up? But like, when you're going, you actually, it's got a lot of energy. It was a lot. I think I could do that for max 20 minutes, and the stimulation, I would be 
imploding. I don't know if that was relevant to anyone. Today's outfit are uh, these aloe trousers. They look chic, like you can wear these to the office, but 10 out of 10, recommend. Aritzia, aloe. Day number five, I will admit, my back pain hasn't really been here. I've been really on my stretching game though, so chicken or the egg, I don't know. The thing I'm starting to learn and really practice is back pain, any pain. Yes, it can be immobility, but it can also be lack of strength. When are we not using our lower back? When we're sit propped up in a chair and back muscles don't have to work. Do not diagnose yourself. There's way too much people self-diagnosing on the internet. This is just an idea to go talk to a health professional if you're experiencing back pain. It can be mobility issues, but it can also be lack of strength. It's only 10 a.m. I got here earlier and already over 10,000 steps for the day, but I finally found the one thing you cannot do a walking desk with. Record the podcast. I'm not going to record a podcast. Oh my God, imagine it. Hey guys, welcome to the podcast. After five days, I averaged about 25,000 steps every day because I had to walk to the office and back, did about 10,000 steps a day. So it was an extra about 50,000 steps for my week. I'm not gonna do weekends because work-life balance. After using the walking pad for five days, I noticed I added about 10,000 steps a day I could add to my total before it started negatively impacting my work schedule. Who do I think this is for? If you're someone who has a super sedentary job, you don't have time to get to the gym before work. You might be a mom, your kids have three different soccer practices to go to. You just don't have any time and you're sedentary all day. I think this could be amazing for you. If you're someone like myself who's working out in the morning, has to walk everywhere, I think I deserve to sit a bit. <laughs> now the debate on 10,000 steps. I'm going to take the word from Daniel Lieberman. He is a professor of human biology at Harvard. I'd recommend his book Exercise and actually the 10,000 step, if you didn't know rule, originally came from Japan. It was a marketing campaign. Pedometers? Yeah, pedometers, stepometers, I don't know what they're called. Maxed out at 10,000 steps and that's where the number came from. Now some cons. Walking on the treadmill is not as challenging as walking on foot. So is 10,000 steps equal on a treadmill to walking outside? I, I'm not sure enough to know. Just be aware it's not exactly equal. If you're somebody who's tall, your strides could be restricted because they're quite short. For me, I found it really good for concentrating, especially on things that were mundane. I know about myself, I'm, I try to purposely distract myself. I found it really helped me hyper-focus. But with that being said, talking about Andrew Heberman, you aren't really meant to stare at something close and walk. So I found it incredibly straining on my eyes. Now I'm not a medical professional, but just my own experience, what I'll do moving forward, I think the standing desk is the key because I think the best thing we can kind of do is just kind of maybe every 10 to 30 minutes move. We don't have to walk all day long but just sitting there for hours on end, you get back pain. Your glute muscles atrophy. So we're not really supposed to sit all day, but we're also not supposed to move every second of the day, especially if you're already incredibly active in other pursuits. I would recommend just having a standing desk and just kind of casually get up and move. This could be good for some people, other people it could just cause severe back pain. Um, I think I'm gonna just use it here or there when I have a Zoom call with my accountant and my ADHD is just through the roof because uh, it, it, it really helped with that. I will put a link down below. I'm not affiliated with any. If you wanted as a gift, this one was like 250 bucks. It's held up for a week. Will it hold up longer? I don't know. Will this collect dust in two months when this trend is done? Probably, but you know what? We might as well ride it when it's semi-cool. The people are looking at making it chic on Instagram versus, I won't lie, if we showed someone doing this five years ago, it would look really tacky. You know, whenever a trend's in that's good for us, we might as well ride it. Happy holidays. Have a great day. Go pet dog. Love you guys. Bye.